Hey there, my name is Angela. Welcome to my channel. This is Life in the Up. <laughs> oh, guys, this is so exciting. Sorry, I'm looking for the rock. I don't want to trip over it. See, rock. I would trip over it. I was just running along and I noticed this bright pop of color. Come check it out. Look at this. Look at this. There is, can you see that? A ripe berry. That's the tiniest little berry ever. And maybe it's not ripe now that I look at it. That's not a raspberry. Hmm. Okay. It's getting ripe. It's so exciting. <laughs> the pretty flowers. I love the wildflowers. All right. Back to your day. Guys. Ooh. A deer fly. I locked myself out of my house. I forgot to unlock the door when I went through. I locked myself out of my house. I gotta wake somebody up, I think. And it's late today. Usually I I had to cross the geese, though, to get to the other side of the house. You hear them? They're scary. They don't like me. Usually I unlock the other door on the side of the house so that I can get back in. And I forgot. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can get into my own house. Hi guys, I just wanted to jump in here. I was editing the video and I thought I needed to give a little bit of an intro into what you're going to be seeing. This summer has been a summer of boat projects. <laughs> we have one boat, well actually we have two, but we're working on one boat this summer. Dutch and Jack have taken on this huge project. All along I've been taking videos of the process and I had just haven't had time to edit any of it. So I went through and I've just taken short little bits from each video that I've recorded and put it all together just to catch you guys up on where they're at. I'm not quite all the way caught up, so I'll have another video with more, but it's a long project. <laughs> anyway, that's what you're going to see next. I hope you enjoy the process. It's been long, but it will be rewarding in the end. Yes, it will. All right, here you go. Enjoy. What you doing? Oh. Trying to fit this piece in here. Oh. oh. It doesn't fit. Wait. All right. What's happening with your boat here? I'm getting ready to prep the uh, fiberglass here. This is really weak, but once that board is in there, That'll strengthen that up. You yeah, can see where the I bolts were the... going through the fiberglass. So I'm cleaning this up so the resin oh, can yeah, okay. stick to that and the board. I'm going to kind of sandwich it in there. Okay, what are you doing? I'm recording. See yeah, that? I know. Yeah, you can see me. I'm just relaxing. Just like relaxing. Laying on a blanket in the bottom of the boat. And the camera was moving all over because I was trying to shake the hair out of my eyes. <laughs> I could see what I was recording. Yes, it's a mess here. I was looking at the flat tire on your van there. But I had to take a I had to take a shower. Oh, yeah. You know, a little bit of a mess. Glass. All right, so what's going on here? Oops, I got to get past stuff. Well, we got the board in. We had a little issue because the board wouldn't stay straight. Well, it stayed straight, but the boat wasn't, and that got in the way. So what, I had to what cut got in the way? The back of the uh, motor well. Oh, so we this ended piece up, on the ground. We ended up cutting that out. Where was that? That was here, but Damn. there was not enough room for it to get in there all the way. So, so now you'll put new fiberglass over the top of it? Yeah, the fiberglass will come all the way from here and go all the way to the bottom. And as you can see, we already get glassed in nope. the front. Hang on, let me see. So that the board would stay in place. So that's oh, already glassed in. Yeah, right down along the edge here. We couldn't pull this back enough, so we're going to end up filling that in with fiberglass. Okay, what's going on today? Put our first coat of, uh, first, first layer of 1708. Dual type cloth. It has 17 ounces of woven and eight ounces of mat. Is it starting to look better? I don't know, I haven't looked at it. Yes. Ah, you've smoothed in the gaps there. Filled in the gaps. It's getting better. Yeah. Second layer on. You're back to the bolt project. What's going on right now? Just mixing up a little bit more 
resin. I like the table you created here. It's a two to one. It's a two to one mixture. So what have you been doing in here? Glass in the bilge. Down back there, it looks wet. I don't know if the camera will pick it up. Why are you cutting it off? So it's a bit stiffer. Are they synthetic bristles? No. Uh, horse hair? Some kind of hair. Okay, what are you doing here then? I'm impregnating the air bubbles with resin. How many layers of the fiberglass do you have on there? I think it's the third one, Jack. Cool. Well, it's a beautiful day to be working out here. Look, all the trees are green. All right. I'll leave you to it. So today we went kind of mostly from the full side, but the threads are going the other way. So it's a bit of a process, and it takes time. Days and days and days, and it's pretty hot out here today in the sunshine. And if you didn't already know this, oh, you know it now. I love mushrooms. Look at this. When I passed by, there was one slug eating it. Now there are two. So cool. I have no idea what kind of mushroom this is. I looked it up last year, but I don't recall. Look at that. Isn't that neat? Sorry, it's all jumpy. Huh. Do you like slugs? I suppose most gardeners don't like them. Then you just gotta grow mushrooms nearby so they'll eat the mushrooms and not your plants. Pretty cool. I wanna show you something. I'll see if it can focus. Look at this. Look at that. Do you see that? Those wings and, I don't know if it bites. It hasn't bitten me yet. I don't even know if it's focusing. It looks like it's not focusing. Whoa, all right. I'm gonna try this way and see if it'll focus. Look at that. Yee, maybe if I put it right in front of my face. <laughs> Interesting, I'm not sure what it is. Is that the mayfly? <laughs> I don't know. guys I just wanted to jump in here and um, okay start again